totally depends whether your site is within two or three years old, it's a new build and lessons learned from subsidy driven solar booms have been applied. In those cases with technology advancements and construction standard improvements it's unlikely that that particular asset will be suitable for optimization. However for sites that are even a few years old and older there are a massive amount of opportunities to improve, optimize, revamp and repower your asset. In particular I'd be focusing in on the power conversion technology, the inverters in terms of their reliability, how much spares and, and service provision you're given. I'd be looking at module condition and the effects on the DC system in general. They're the two biggest low-hanging fruit that we would recommend people go after to understand whether their sites are suitable for optimization or not. With technology advancements in solar, it might be the case in a few years time that even the newer builds are susceptible for revamp and repower upgrades. If we can exchange technology which is a lot more efficient, you may well see that sites are opting to install new, higher grade, more efficient technology to actually enhance their performance and to extend their lifetime. The other interesting thing, of course, is what happens after the 25-year planning permission period. So owners and operators need to start thinking about this. Because in particular, in the UK, when we started the solar boom back in 2011-12, you know, we're running into another 15 years, they're going to be running out of planning. So that process, we need to start thinking about and extending the life of these renewable assets for the greater good.